Hi guys, thanks for tuning in. So you might have guessed from the title what I'll be doing today and that is, or actually today, tomorrow and perhaps on uh, Sunday as well because this takes a lot of time if you want to do it correctly. So I'll be actually doing some paint correction and paint protection of the paint on the Mustang, aka Bronzo. So uh, what we will do is, <clears throat> first of all, I'll uh, do some degreasing. Uh, we will take care of the wheels, and uh, I'm using Valet Pro's Dragon Breath. Also, uh, I will uh, <clears throat> uh, wash the car, pre-wash the car. Uh, then I will wash it with a uh, mitt and uh, regular shampoo. Then I will do an Iron X to have a uh, mechanical uh, decontamination. Sorry, I mean uh, chemical contamination. Then I will do the claying of the car, which will be the me mechanical contamination removal part. <clears throat> Once that is done, which all of this takes like, I don't know, two, three hours to do. Uh, then uh, we will rinse the car, then we will dry it with a plush uh, drying cloth. Then I will be doing some masking of uh, some of the parts of the car. And then we will start off uh, <coughs> with the paint correction. So I have my Roops LHR21 Mark II. I don't know, maybe overkill for an amateur, but anyhow, that's how it is. And also I have a uh, Manzernas uh, compound here, so uh, I have the medium cut if needed, or uh, I think I'll be fine with the super finish. This due to that the uh, car is relatively new and I have uh, taken care of it during the washes, etc. So it shouldn't be any deep scratches, which I can't remove with the super finish. Also, I have a soft, foam pad and uh, I then have also one uh, in this orange uh, which is a bit uh, harder in case I would need to do like a combination of where I need to remove some more deep scratches which I have not seen any of so let's see how that goes <clears throat> once that's done I will uh, buff off all the uh, remaining residue if any uh, after that is done uh, with the microfiber cloth uh, this is a pretty good one, it's 420 grams per square meter, so it's really plush, so it shouldn't induce any more scratches. Uh, then also I uh, will use the CarPro's eraser to remove any residues from the polishing or any fats, etc. Then we will get to the part which is actually then the paint protection part. So I have uh, purchased the uh, Sea Quartz new, newest version which is the Sea Quartz uh, UK 3.0. And this is, as what I have read, supposed to be a bit better for uh, cold environments etc. And always wear gloves when you're working with the ceramic coating. And also, I will have to use these when I'm uh, doing this. And also, I always uh, dry the car uh, with my uh, compressor as well. So, <clears throat> so uh, let's start off and uh, I'll uh, do some slow footage, then I'll do some time lapse and then uh, we step through the different stages uh, of this. So uh, let's go outside. All right guys, so now I have prepped for the shampooing and now it's time to start off with the degreasing part. So I'll walk through, walk, go over the car with the degreaser to ensure that all, most of the heavy stuff at least uh, won't stick to the car and uh, we rinse it off and we see the results if need be we'll do it again uh, with a stronger concentration of the degreaser and then uh, <coughs> we'll see if uh, it looks good then we can uh, go ahead and shampoo the car 
all right guys so now the first step is done so i have applied the uh degrees around the car i'll also walk around and do the wheels uh, with the wheel degreaser and uh, then we'll let it sit for a couple of minutes and then we will uh, rinse everything off and then uh, we'll see the results all right guys so now it's time for the pre-wash but i did realize that my uh, foam lance is defect so uh, for some reason the pressure is not going through so the pressure washer pumps up the pressure and releases it and pumps up the pressure and releases it so uh, I'll have to get a new one but uh, this have to do for now all right so now I have applied the pre-wash with this on with which this gives some type of lubrication I will actually feel and go around the car and see where I potentially need to clay and I can feel there are some s residue still left specifically around this area here I can feel something and uh, I go over the car all the way and then uh, we'll see where we need to clay it once we are finished with the shampooing and so on All right guys, so time to rinse the car again uh, so we can get off the pre-wash and then uh, we start off with uh, shampooing. Also, I went over the whole car and felt the surface and uh, to be honest, there wasn't that much of uh, debris left on the paint, but anyhow, I think I'll go over the lower parts of the car with the clay anyhow. So, alright guys, the car is now rinsed off from the pre-wash and now it's time for washing it uh, mechanically, so to speak. So I have a mitt and I practice the two bucket method. So I have one bucket with clean water, hopefully, and this one has a grit card in it. I don't know if you can see it. No, it's not possible. And I rinse the mitt in this other bucket with, uh, from the beginning at least, clean water and usually I always have some debris uh, on the bottom uh, which the grid card and uh, with the weight of the debris it falls down there so that's a bit comforting i mean uh, maybe it's not the most perfect way of doing it but at least uh, it helps it helps not scratching the car more than necessary So it's important to clean the whole car if you ask me, I mean uh, the door wells, the door seals, the doors beneath here, I always do this area here, now I'm glad I have a rubber mat in the back, so all these places I do clean and dry carefully later on, so uh, it's better to do it and if you're doing it, do it fully. I don't know, it's a... Uh, I don't know what kind of a model that was. So now I washed the car thoroughly with uh, the mitt and the two bucket method, etc. So now we rinse it off and the next step is to do the chemical decontamination of the car before we go on with the clay. All right guys, so now I have rinsed the car off from the shampoo and now it's time for the Iron X, which is the chemical decontamination. So hopefully there won't be, or if there are any uh, iron particles, etc., these will react with the Iron X and they will become uh, purplish in the color. So, uh, let's spray this on and see if we have any of those on the car. So I have applied the Iron X, but on this color, I mean, to see if anything is turning purple, it's almost impossible. I can't see anything, which is a good sign, but I mean, uh, 
once I start driving the car during winter time, uh, people driving with winter tires, etc., this will get uh, much. So the reaction from this will be much more, I believe. All right, so we'll sit it, let it sit for a couple more minutes, and then uh, we rinse it off, and then we go on with the clay. All right, guys, now the car has been rinsed off from the Iron X, and now it's time to uh, activate the clay, which means. You know, squishing it together, uh, get uh, some uh, underarm training on the on the go, and uh, I'll actually use uh, some of the soap water as a uh, uh, how should I say uh, f f f to not to have too much friction. So to increase the glide, I'll actually use the soap water. Uh, I don't have any specific detailing uh, spray, etc. So uh, I'll go with that. So now I have flattened the clay out and I've also applied some uh... So now I flattened the clay out and I've also uh, applied some of the soap water on the car for the lubrication of this. So you gently take the clay and you play the whole car so the parts you feel uh, extra contaminated and so on but I will do the whole car just to be sure that everything is really clean I don't know if you can see nothing nothing actually stuck to it so it's a good sign so I'll continue with the whole car you get to enjoy yourself and don't rush it cheers nice all right guys so now we moved inside it's been almost two and a half hours and the car is ready to be as you can see dried so uh, i will walk, go over it with the drying towel and also i will go with, with the <clears throat> i don't know what you call it in english the compressor in order to uh get everything off before I start to tape off things like the plastic here and the window trimming etc so uh, let's go ahead with the drying of the car and uh, we proceed with the next step all right guys now it's time for this bad boy so uh, I'll go over all these uh, small areas around the uh, rear lamps, rear tail lights, sorry, uh, etc. Around the badge here, and the door trims, etc. All around the car. I'll do the area around the hood vents, around the lights, and down here as well. Uh, so, uh, and for that, you need to be prepared. All right, guys, so now I've been at it for a little bit more than three hours, so the car is dry down. So the steps that we have done uh, until now is we have decre degreased the car, uh, we have rinsed it, uh, we have done a pre-wash and rinsed that. We have done uh, the two bucket method uh, and a mitt wash with the shampoo and rinse that. Uh, we have done the Iron X which is the chemical decon decontamination and rinse that. And then we have clayed the car <coughs> and rinsed uh, any residue of that. And now I have driven the car inside and I have dried it with a dry towel and uh, I've gone through uh, some of the crannies and so on uh, with the compressor uh, so I can get all of the water out so when I start uh, buffing uh, or doing the paint correction and so on uh, 
water doesn't come out of places where I don't want to. So, and also when I'm taping uh, edges, etc., it's uh, uh, good to have those areas uh, dry as well. So uh, that's it for today and tomorrow I'll uh, tape up the car and uh, we start off with the paint correction steps. Good morning guys, so it's a new day and I have been exercised by the demons! Ah! Sorry, uh, so I think I got a cut a cold, but uh, things gotta go on. Uh, so I have the weekend on me to prepare the car. So uh, uh, today I'll mask whatever I can mask because I forgot to mention earlier in the video. I mean, uh, the whole front end of the car uh, is wrapped uh, in X belt, so this part I can't uh, do any paint correction on. So. It will be on the doors and uh, on the rear fenders, the roof, the trunk lid, etc. Where I am able to do any paint correction. The rest I just will apply the ceramic coating on as it is and uh, wish for the best. So uh, before I put the expellent on, I did a paint correction. So there shouldn't be any uh, swirls and scratches, etc. Under the paint protection film, but the film itself can have scratches. But yeah, that's the way it is. I can't do anything about it. So, <clears throat> so uh, let's get on with the taping of whatever I can tape. So I'll tape these areas, uh, like this part here on the trimming and so on. So, uh, but it's not going to be as much as uh, masking as usual because I have the paint protection and uh, sorry the PP PPF. So. It's not that much to uh, mask, which in a sense is a good thing. All right, guys, so now I have finished the masking. Uh, it wasn't that much to do as with a regular car because I have the whole front end and the front fenders, the hood, etc. already wrapped in PPF. <coughs> However, as you can see, I have PPF as an example on this portion of the roof. So I did put uh, some masking tape on the edge, so if I go over with the pad, I won't damage the PPF. I've never had a car with PPF before, I hope this is the right way to do it. The same uh, on the rear of the doors, or sorry, on the bottom of the doors. Uh, this section here, so all this I have PPF on, so I've put a masking tape on the edge. And anyhow, you get the idea. So... Uh, the next step is to start with the paint correction. All right guys, so now the time has come to start with the paint correction and uh, I'll start off showing you how the paint looks. I don't know how well you can see this. Uh, I mean, it's not that bad to be honest. It's not bad at all, uh, but still, what has to be done has to be done so I'll uh, start off uh, with the let's see how the scaling was of these uh, so the blue one is the soft polish I also have the orange one uh, <coughs> which is a soft cut but uh, I think I start with the blue one uh, and with the uh, super finish uh, Manzana super finish uh, and we'll see the results if it's working well then I'll continue to do that to do that and if there are some places which has some more deeper scratches or something like that I'll go over with the soft cut pad and uh, potentially the medium cut uh, polishing compound so let's start and see how it goes all right guys, before I start, I will prime the pad. This to ensure that we have full coverage of uh, compound on the pad and we don't, we don't do any dry uh, buffing or uh, polishing. Uh, and also, uh, this will increase the capacity or whatever we want to call it uh, of the polishing from the pad itself. So what I will do is, I have shaken the compound I'll put like a circle around 
and then I will work the product in with my thumbs uh, in all of the all over the pad and try to get it in everywhere and areas which I don't uh, cover I will do like small <clears throat> pea sized squirts of the compound and fill those areas up as well and once that's done I will actually blow off any uh, excess compound and then we can start off with the actual polishing So the pad has been primed, so what I will do is I will put uh, three pea-sized squirts of the polishing compound on the edges of the pad. And then I just gently put it on the car. So I have it on uh, four and we start off with that and we look at the results and see how it goes and then uh, we take it on from there. Alright guys, so now I'm finished polishing. <coughs> uh, there is a residue left which I need to remove uh, with the microfiber cloths and also I will use uh, isopropanol if needed and as a last step I will use uh, Carpro's eraser to really to ensure that there are no uh, residues from the polishing compound left so uh, I have detaped the car and as you can see there is a lot of residue which needs to be taken care of uh, I'm not sure if I will have time today to put the ceramic coating on Let's see, but for you guys, it's going to be uh, time travel, anyhow. Good morning, guys. So it's 7.30 in the morning, and you might wonder why the hell is he so happy or positive. Uh, I'm not. Uh, but anyhow, today it's time to go over the car with a eraser to ensure that we don't have any oil residue or a polishing compound left on the car. And then once that's done, we will do the actual application of the C quartz uh, ceramic coating. So uh, let's get started. Uh, yeah. So what I do with the eraser, I, I've shook in the product well. And then I take my microfiber cloth. I spray the product on the microfiber cloth. And then I go over the whole car with this. This to ensure that there aren't any oil residues or polishing compound left. And this is how you do it through the, throughout the whole car. Alright guys, so now I have gone over the whole car with the eraser. So hopefully there is no, there are no, uh, there is no residue from oils or from the polishing compound, etc. I do have to say the results are pretty good. I don't know what you think, but that is a good mirror-ish result, in my opinion. And uh, now it is time to apply the ceramic coating itself, included in the CKU, <coughs> C Quartz UK 3.0. Sorry for my throat is a bit... Uh, uh, I don't know. Yeah, so included in the box is the actual uh, ceramic coating. You get a small bottle of Reload, and Reload you use after you have applied this and uh, buffed it off with a microfiber cloth. The Reload is there to protect the ceramic coating before it has cured, so if uh, it starts to rain or you get any water on the car, this will protect the ceramic coating itself. And also it is uh, strongly water repellent as such. <coughs> and also included in the box is... Uh, the applying foam which you wrap the uh, microfiber cloth around uh, or suede I think this is suede actually and then you get a microfiber cloth to buff off 
any residue of or the residue of the ceramic coating itself and also included the manual and you also get this sticker uh, which 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 you should I don't know how to explain it I mean you're supposed to put it here and uh, you would then see if the <coughs> ceramic coating is flashing but uh, this uh, now this freaked out again. Uh, sorry for that. Uh, this uh, ceramic coating, the 3.0 version, uh, apparently you don't have to worry that much about uh, the flashing part. You can uh, more or less uh, wipe it off if you're in a w warm condition, that is. Uh, so uh, I don't know what the hell is going on with this thing. There we go. So, uh, <coughs> the temperature in the garage is around uh, 20 degrees Celsius, uh, I have my heater on as well, so uh, the ceramic coating should cure quite fast. Let's get to it and uh, we'll see how it goes. So, always wear protection when you're working uh, with chemicals. Uh, which is always recommended and uh, you should have a good ventilated area if possible. Uh, I don't want to open the windows now because uh, it's only six degrees Celsius outside and I don't want to cool down the garage while I'm applying <coughs> the ceramic coating. Also uh, quite neat thing on the, the foam pad which you use as the for the applicator. It has cutouts uh, on both sides for uh, the micro or the uh, suede cloth so if you have a, like a credit card or something you can peel the cloth in there so it doesn't uh, stick to the car or if it sticks to the car it's still it, it, the, it will be still held to the uh, uh, applicator pad which is a good thing so uh, the hood on the Mustang is like humongous so usually they say uh, divide the section you're doing into four, four even squares or whatever you want to call it, uh, portions. But as this hood is so big, I will actually do it in six uh, squares. So to say, so I will do one here, I will do one here, I will do one in the middle and on the top and so on. So that's what I do. And also I have kept the bottle in my pocket to get some heat or to get it somewhat warm um, which makes it easier to also to buff off because it doesn't uh, adhere <coughs> that fast then. and also you're supposed to uh, <coughs> shake the product well before you start applying it and the next is then to start with the fun stuff we start applying So we do cross hash patterns in sh to ensure that we have full coverage. Let it sit for a short while. And then we will buff it off. I can see already now it's starting to flash because it's giving that iris iris iridescent color. So I'll actually start buffing it off uh, right away. And I'll wait a little bit more once I have done it because uh, I think it will reduce the smudging a bit before I do another turn uh, with the microfiber cloth. Uh, 
and uh, I'll continue with the rest of the finally food. Finally finish this man. with the coating. I have buffed all excess off. I'm sweaty like hell. I don't know how many hours it has taken. It's taken too much time. Uh, I had some difficulties uh, removing uh, all the excess uh, so I don't get this clouding or whatever you want to call it. Uh, so, uh, <coughs> but I've done two coatings now. So I've done all the plastics, etc. as well. Uh, and now it's time for the reload. And as I mentioned, this is uh, to protect the coating uh, until it has cured. So I will put this on and then uh, I'll buff any uh, excess off and then I will uh, let the car sit here for at least 12 hours before I bring it out. All right guys, finally done. Hell freaking yeah, it's been exhausting actually to be honest i have a cold as well so i'm sweating like a pig but it's finally finished so i have uh, gone, gone over the car <coughs> with the reload and uh, now it's slippery as uh, yeah you know what uh, so uh feels good uh i will let the car sit now for uh until at least tomorrow and uh, hopefully it won't rain uh, when I take it out the first time, but s somehow I wish it rains so I can see uh, the beating and the uh, water pearls. But uh, that's the way it is, so I can <coughs> take you around and show you a bit. It's looking really, really slick. So... Uh, and the rear window I actually did some uh, coating on as well with some uh, window coat which I had since before. Uh, so now everything looks really good. Look at that reflection. Awesome. But I need to take it outside to see the proper proper end result uh, so uh, but uh, I hope it's going to be nice until the next time see you